This is Spotlight TV and I am your host Christian Lestat. He's there. Well anyway, I'm at RIP Inc. in Erie, Pennsylvania. Getting ready to get this fixer up. You see I got this tattoo. You know, this Autobot trap tattoo. Kind of, you know, needs a little fixing up. Also, this tattoo needs to be connected with this tattoo. And we're going to do that today. Well, I'm not. The, the professionals at RIP Inc. is going to be doing that. But anyway, we're going to put this on pause. But anyway, just take a look at this once again. Like, look how those lines aren't done all the way and stuff. And those lines need a fixing up. And these two tattoos don't look like they're connected. It doesn't look like these tattoos could be connected because they, they both got two different things going on. But like I said, the professionals at RIP Inc. is going to take care of that. People at home, what's your name? EJ. And for the people at home, what's your name? I'm Dr. Ruby Lovefest. I sit here, Mr. Lovefest. First. Oh, because this is the way it goes. Yeah. So one, two, three, go. Oh, you're oh, dead, dude. <laughs> He's playing with you. Oh, watch the beer. Watch the beer. Watch the beer. All right, go. You they want to save the beer now. Watch your elbows. Go, man. Go, go, go. Oh, shit. Oh, Looks like Ruben's going to win. Oh, oh, shit. All right, sit up here. What's your name? Fuck face asshole. <laughs> All right, Mr. Asshole. Let's see him. Go ahead. Get this on. You ready? Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. That wasn't even right. That was not right. I think we, 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 we've seen someone who cheated here. I mean, everyone's seeing that, and it's being recorded right now, so... Ready? Right, let's go. You ready? You set? <laughs> go. Oh, shit. Ready? Go, Ruby! Go! Go! Grab the table. Go! Oh, shit, he's drinking a beer. He's showing confidence. <laughs> oh, that's so big. Ah, get him on the table. Oh, shit. Get him! <laughs> this, this is a good one. This is a good one now. Oh, shit. Alright, we got Go! Should we? Let's just look like it's going to be a good one. What's your name? My name's Paul Williams. I'm the owner and uh, sole proprietor of Rip Inc. Tattoo Studio. So how long have you been a tattoo artist? Uh, I've been in Erie County for approximately 10 years, about a decade. Um, we, uh, we moved out of town for a while, worked out of Orlando, Florida, but I came back to good old Erie, man. Nothing like the 814. So like, what inspired you to become a tattoo artist? The love and drive for art, man. You know, it's, it's around us every day. Uh, I just like to, to express it a little differently than a painter, you know what I mean? So, like, uh, what's the difference, like, between, like, tattooing, like, human skin and drawing with paper? Oh, geez, there's a lot of difference. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of people would think that uh, we have it made pretty easy, you know, just drawing on people all day. Uh, I'm, I'll be the first one and not the only one, uh, just in the Erie community even, to tell you that if you can draw on paper, uh, it, you cannot necessarily tattoo, you know. That's why we go through an apprenticeship for such a long time, is to learn what the differences are. So I'll, I'll leave it at that. Now are you trained to like uh, handle people with like say people who are scared of getting their first tattoos that might be jumpy. Are you like trained to like uh, talk to them in a way that they're not scared? Absolutely. I mean, you have to be a people person, you know. You have to feel each individual out. Um, I know here at Rip Inc. Uh, that we, we shoot to make sure that when you leave Rip Inc., even if it's your first time here at our shop, uh, that you leave feeling like you're a good friend of everybody that works here, you know. Um, so we, we try to do the best that we can, keeping you calm and collected. Uh, we like to explain to you exactly what's going on so there's no hidden surprises. Um, and normally that, uh, that relaxes people enough, you know, put on, put on some music for them that they enjoy. And uh, that's what we do for them. Now, how many pieces do you do, uh, like, say, a week? 
Uh, it, it depends on the, the week. Uh, you know, it could be anywhere from from a winter season of doing, uh, you know, a handful, you know, about a about a seven count per week, one a day, uh, to uh, in the summer season where all of our artists are doing five, six a day. Um, so it just depends on the season and everybody's economy, you know. Now, with an artwork that people get, are you happy when people come in and get the? Uh the artwork when they come in and bring art rather than the, the same person comes and just get flash art? Absolutely. Uh, Rip Inc. here we do I'd say 95% uh, custom work. We love to, to work with the client um, designing a completely original piece. Now that's not to say that we don't love doing images you know uh, the common praying hands and stuff of that nature but by far that's, that's not all what we do you know. Uh, my personal opinion, yeah, I'd, I'd love to do a custom piece uh, versus something out of a book that eight people could have. I'd like to give you an original every time. Now, what was your biggest tattoo you did this year? Oh, uh, th there's a mix of them. Um, you know, we, we've got we got a couple couple gentlemen getting back pieces. Um, we have probably six, seven, eight. Uh, people just in the last six months getting sleeve from wrist to elbow, you know, a uh, couple going from wrist to breastplate. So uh, I couldn't tell you exactly which one's the largest because we're not done with any of them, you know. Now, what is the most painful area to get tattooed? Oh, that's that all depends on the person, you know. Each body is different. Um, in, in my personal opinion, again, I've been saying that a lot. Uh, I'd say the worst for me personally was the stomach. Uh, the rib cage and the front of the throat. Uh, that was that was pretty wicked. Um, but like I said, it all depends on the person. Now those procedures you do, I noticed you brought out a razor and was uh, shaving his back. What what does that have to do with the tattoo? Uh, what we do is we like to get it nice and clean. Um, it takes the top layers of dead skin cells off, okay, uh, as well as getting any of the the light hairs. Um, so that we ensure that you're not going to end up with an ingrown hair uh, causing pimples and acne breakouts uh, in the, the fresh tattoo is bad you'll end up with a hollow spot so we just want to make sure that that you end up with the best product that we can uh, give you hey you definitely good at doing cover-ups right oh absolutely uh, a lot of artists here in here we are um, I'd, I'd have to say if you're going to be a professional artist you have to know how to do that as well you ready to get going? Yeah. Okay. I'll let you get to work and I'll film you later. All right, man. Talk to you soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stab, motherfuckers.